Hey, what's going on YouTube? We are here with another video for you. So today we have a 2007 Dodge Charger. And we're gonna program the key today. So for this programming, we're gonna be using the Maxisys Elite. And we're gonna add one key to the customer. So here's the new key already cut and just to show you that it doesn't work, it's not programmed, you're gonna see the light flashing and I'm gonna crank it, it's gonna turn on for a while and then it turns off. So this key is not programmed. But this one is the original. The light goes away. That means it's broken. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna take our already cut key into the ignition, turn it on. We're gonna use our scanner tool. And you wanna go to hot functions. Immobilizer and keys. We give it a sec. Make sure the key's on. And this is the interface for this one. It's also a ECU programming tool. So we hit program ignition keys. Okay, we read the description, it says that it should be a non-program key in the ignition, blah, 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 blah. We hit OK. And there it is, we have the key already in the wrong position, yes. And then we put the pin number. So where do you get the pin number for the car? So there's tools. On eBay you can buy for these cars so it can like decode the ping number for you but for this car we call the dealership and you'll need it's your driver's license and the registration so they can give you a Ford Coke pin number so the pin number for this car is 7090 we hit enter OK and it tells you if the pin is the right one we hit ok it gives you only three times so if you hit it three times it's gonna lock you out so you have to make sure you get the right pin number for this car we hit ok we give it a sec And we hear the light blinking, the light's off, and the programming of the new ignition key was successful. If you want to add another one, you can press OK, but if you're done, we just cancel, and that's it. Just turn off the car. Take the tool away, make sure the light's off, ignition on, that is goes away, and the car turns on. And then we make sure the locks work. This one doesn't have a battery, so it doesn't work. But this one, it's already programmed. You can see the light. Panic and it's good. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.